Good evening, family. Yes, I'm coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, the cater where it's greater. Hello, fam. It's 6.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the ATL, the Dirty South, or however they like to call us, okay? The Georgia Sweet Peaches. And I'm talking about the ones that were born and raised here. Not the ones that migrated here or found their self down here for the entertainment and the party scene. Not talking about those folks that probably been here two years or lesser or five or ten years or lesser and claim themselves as georgia peaches no i'm talking about the natives i'm talking about the ones that were born and raised here all of their lives okay but it just depends on how you look at it how you get down now of course you see by the pictures we're going to be talking about um toya bush harris of the merit medicine franchise as well as Dr. Heavenly Climbs over there doing her do do do. Okay, what she do all day long. We just run her mouth, okay? And she's very comical at it at times. Now I can say I ain't like Dr. Heavenly at first. And I definitely don't like her on the show because she comes off as a bully of sorts. But when you see her on her platform, when she's really just answering questions and things of that nature, she's pretty uh, okay, decent person. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, they go beefing for dollars here and there. And they get on these ratchet TV programs and they forget about, you know, what made them stand out in the community at large from the beginning which was their profession their uh noted profession that they went to school for and you know it's kind of like a good thing and it expire inspires other people to um look after them or look towards them for motivation and uh to get them something to grasp to to think that they can be better producing citizens as well and have um, normal jobs, making a good living off of it, and, a, you know, a reputable reputation in their career chosen field. Okay, but it seems like entertainment business has taken over. And I'll keep saying it probably to the day I die. You know, people just want the easy way out. They don't want to work hard no more. Uh, just like I was watching Cynthia Bailey's um, daughter, Noel, on her little YouTube channel. She just came across my meter feed. And she seemed like she was talking pretty intelligent. And really, she did give some good points to why she left college and this, that, and the third. I feel she's still trying to find herself. But at 20 years old, that's pretty much what you're doing. Uh, but she did make some points, good points about everybody don't have to go to school, this, that, and the third. And I found it very interesting. I found that more appealing than listening to her mother talk. And that's a shame, ain't it? But I still think she needed her post-secondary education just to fall back on in case the entertainment field just really doesn't work out for her either. But I said that to say this. Y'all better be careful out in them streets, children. Yes, be careful out in them streets because that coronavirus, it, hey, if you already got a compromised uh, immune system, when I say compromised, I mean like it's kind of faulty. Like say you suffer from high blood pressure, you suffer from asthma, you suffer from... Um, what is it? Uh, AIDS or HIV. Anything that compromises your immune system from working at its very best. Be careful out there. Because we don't really know. They don't really know how this thing is transpired. Or not transpired. But uh, uh, we call it transferred to other people. I still think it's airborne. They still say, no, you get it when somebody coughs or sneezes in your vicinity or your area and the droplets just go out in the atmosphere and this, that, and the third. I'm like, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Okay? Because too many people up here getting it ain't can't be tested for it and they dying. Okay? So I'm like, uh-uh. I can't get with it. Y'all be blessed on that situation. Do your due diligence. If you can stay at home, stay at home. Even though I really think the president and the higher ups need to be doing a better job. Don't tell us to stay at home. Tell our employers or the employers out there that's still making these people come to work. Okay? Still threatening them behind closed scenes saying you either come or you find some other time of type of work and I'll get somebody to come in and do the darn thing. And you have the other employers such as Dr. Heavenly. She shut down her practice, okay? Just to comply and keep her, you know, self safe as well as her 
uh, employees. Now, if she just shut them down and didn't give them no benefit packet or didn't give them a situation where they could go and draw unemployment, then shame on you, Dr. Helen. Ain't no sister you having all of that protecting yourself and then your workers are going out there and doing nothing. I ain't saying she did do that. Maybe she did give them a little stipend or whatever and then told them to go and draw their unemployment for a couple of weeks and then, you know, you you'll she'll call all of them back to work real soon. Now, that's doing the wrong thing. That's being a boss, okay? And that's taking care of your extended family, meaning the people that work for you, that be in that grind with you when y'all making y'all money on normal good seasons, okay? And not with this corona thing. I don't know why he do that. Elijah! Elijah! Oh. Okay. But anyway, that was my little bit of rant before I get on to a deeper rant. Y'all know I had to go. You know, I had told y'all way back when that I was putting a roof on my house. Well, people that have mortgages and they go out and sign their life away, depending on who you sign with when you're trying to get a home or whatnot, you have those parties on the check or, or you be solo on the check. And then you have the uh, mortgage company that holds your loan until you actually pay the home off. And then you get the deed to your house, similar to when you get in a car. You know, you, you pay the notes or whatnot. Then you finish paying that last note. They give you the, um, what do you call it? Uh, I would just say deed to the car. And then you go on about your merry way. You own that car, okay? But you really don't own it. Because if you don't pay insurance on it, you can't drive it around. And this, that, and the third. And then you're taking it from you. Then it's just a whole big mess. Same with a mortgage. If you don't pay the end of the uh, year taxes or um, what do you call it? Uh, two times a year on the tax. How do you split it up when your house is paid for? You don't pay them taxes and watch them come snatch the shit from you. Okay, so only thing I say in realistic terms, you don't own nothing in this world. You just lease it. Okay, you just lease it. But anyway, I went to the bank on which the check was drawn on because I could not put the check in my full name because me and my mom own a house together. Okay, so and me and my mom don't have a banking account together. Okay, so um. I had to go cash the check or try to cash the check at the uh, place where the uh, check was drawn on, which was Wells Fargo. Do y'all know, I am here to tell you, I was fine when I was coming home from work, going to do my little, you know, thing I needed to do, which was go to the bank, how this so I can pay the people who did my roofing, okay? Or at least pay half of it because they ain't really finished the job as of yet. They got to do some interior stuff in the house. But, you know, because of the coronavirus going on and things of that nature, I know things are slowing up, so I'm being very patient, okay? But anyway, went there, opened up the door, couldn't get in. I said, wait a minute. I was keep knocking. They could say, keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Uh huh. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Try it again. Try it again. God damn it. I was like, what the hell is going on? Then my eyes focused and I was reading the sign that they had posted on their little credential. This is uh, their, you know, their door where you come in uh, into their establishment. However, the thing said you had to make an appointment, y'all. Now, what the hell is going on out there? Yes, I did say it. Wells Fargo in my neck of the woods was saying that you can't come in their establishment unless you have an appointment. What kind of shit is that, y'all? What kind of shit is that? So, I say an officer man because you know how you have sometimes in, um, a heavy traffic area or the, this bank is getting a lot of clientele come to so they need some security on the outside so we had this officer man out there see him every day as i drive by you know uh when i'm off because he ain't out there or stuff on the weekend he may be out there but he ain't out there when i be going to work and he damn sure like that when i be coming home from work but he be out there on a daily basis. I said, officer man, come talk to me for a minute. Come talk to me. And I said it just like that because that's how I get down in real life. And he would laugh. He said, yes, ma'am, can I help you? I said, yes, sir. What is this foolery? And I ain't give my other three else. But I said, what is this foolery? mess going on up here at this bank what do you mean i gotta make an appointment when this shit started don't we need to let this kind of stuff be known on local television and i start this and i still may do it i still may do it i still may call the um newscasters and say hey y'all need to be up here giving real thrown out news okay on what's really going on in our neck of the woods because if y'all would have told me wells fargo Okay, shut Elijah out again. Okay, and that was I wasn't thawed, and that was my cheer. Okay, I need to put some oil on it. But anyway, going back to the story, I said, "What's going on, 
wrong with this this situation? Why well, can't get in this bank, sir? And then he said, Okay, ma'am, uh, it's something pretty much happened where a lot of people were calling out. They weren't coming to work because of this corona thing. I said, Okay, they're trying to blame everything on the coronavirus, right? Okay, okay, I get it. I got it good, but I'm still out here working, okay? Whew. Okay, but anyway. So he said, Yes, ma'am, I understand. And he was like, Well, basically, like I said, they ain't got nobody ain't really trying to come to work here because of this coronavirus. They try to protect themselves, this, that, and the third. Understood, got it good. And he said, Well, basically, they just uh, put this information out. Uh, they just started Monday of this week, okay? And uh, because they had a lot of call outs and they've been having a lot of people come in, and it's just too much for them to handle on the, the clientele that they have to serve us. Mean the people to tell us and whatnot. I said, okay, but why they ain't put this shit on news? Because I don't need to be coming here and need to, you know, it's already hot as hell out there. You know, Atlanta can get hot. You know what I'm saying? We in the South. And I don't need to be already aggravated on top of aggravation with this coronavirus. So I said, okay, so you're saying I can't get in, so I'm going to have to go get in these masses car lines to try to call myself that cash this shit he said yes ma'am that's the only thing you could do i said god damn okay thank you sir thank you officer sir and he laughed of course and he went on by his business so i told mom okay we can't you know mama already you know she 80 years old she can't take much she cussing too i said okay and mama don't cuss just like me until i get mad about someone trying to make a real point you know to get people off me but anyway, it's no excuse, but I do it anyway. So we got in the uh, line and everything. I just started seeing people go in the bank, you know. And I'm like, okay, I saw her looking at her little clipboard. And then me and Mama got to thinking about that thing as we kept going closer and closer to me getting to help have someone help me at the little drive-up or drive-through line or banking. And so I said, Mama, what do we get up there? Them folks talking about they can't um cash the check too, even though it's drawn on them. She said, Girl, I don't know. I said, Damn. So I waited till I saw you know another customers being processed, and I know they were already going slow. So I went up to the door. I got out the car, you know, left it running. So I, you know, Mama couldn't move it, but I was watching it. Cause I didn't know about where the hell they couldn't go try to steal it, cause it was like boxed in anyway. So I got out the car, put it in park. And uh, went up to the door, you know, and lady trying to walk away from the door. Like, I can tell you better bring your ass back to this door. Don't be trying to run. You see my big ass out here. You know, don't act like you, you know, I'm Windex and you see it straight through me. You see me sitting up there. But anyway, she, uh, I was knocking on the door and she came back, like, looking all disgusted. I said, hell, I need to be looking disgusted. So I put on my disgusted face. Like, I'm, we both going to be disgusted. Well, I'm going to knock on this damn door till you open it, okay? So she went on to open the door. And I told her, you know, what's going on? You know, even though the officer told me what was going on. And she made up this ridiculous story. Her, oh, honey, it was just so many people up in here. And it's like almost 500 people, you know, because everybody come. Because they get a check from whatever entity. And they have to come and cash it. Because, it, you know, our name is stamped on their check. And they figure they got to come. And they don't have no account. And this, that, and that. I said, oh, what your plight is, baby. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But anyway, I said, baby, I ain't got no account with you either. But I need to cash this check. Now, it's an insurance check. What can I do? Am I going be able to get this cashed in this line or not and then you know she just confused the whole situation but to make a long story short i got out the line had to go inside went through here and there about this damn chick and, and whatever and uh they end, ended up cashing it and stuff but the deal was or the more of the story was see this is the kind of news that an individual need we need to know this stuff along with how corona is affecting us we need to know how it's affecting us in our daily lives of doing our daily business especially our banking needs because it was a hell of a lot of folk that were sitting up there looking like they want to get their check cash and this that, and third and they had to be turned away because they said you had to make an appointment in other to come in order to come into the bank and do your bank banking transaction if it existed more than just uh you know how you say so you have to go to the little other people that sit behind the desk you know those kind of the things when you start an account we have a problem with your account those little areas so that's what the banking thing they're doing temporarily right now because they don't have enough man or woman power to run their establishment the way it should be run. Okay? Or ran, I should say. I like this is some fucked up shit. This was fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty act. 
activity today that I had to go through. I wish I had my shirt. I'm really thinking about getting that shirt, but I need the economy to turn a little bit more to the positive than what it's looking like. Because right now, I need food, shelter, and clothing, and merchandising, making, and, and sending it out to the masses for profit. It's just not in my uh, near sight at this time. Okay, so I still want y'all to stay home if you can. Just like that thing is reading, stay to six, six feet distance. That's what they're doing right there in that video at six feet feet apart from one another and you know just giving you more information about stay at home it does save lives okay because we really don't know what we're dealing with and we're dealing with our president trying to tell us the truth Uh uh-uh and this was somewhere over in new delhi they were getting ready for the masses to come in i guess they don't rent an open warehouse or some kind of infrastructure to put some mats on them beds to have the sick people come in hey that's a full of shit i tell you i don't know you can look at it from different ways. It could be, be biblical where these plagues are getting thrown on us. Because we had a, I was watching somebody's other video yesterday. Uh, I think it's um, Yvonne. I didn't give it back, get it back to you, but it's a, a, her station is called Yvonne something. But she's like a truth seeker where she put out stuff that the local news is really not uh, running for us to partake of and get knowledge and information from. Um she was doing an article on these locusts that are plaguing like Saudi Arabia and Kenya and all these places and they're just eating up the crops they're leaving everything desolate you know what I'm saying and if you're in the Bible these are the uh, plagues that are being thrown out on us because we we don't know how to act as human beings and see, then we got this pandemic going around with this virus the pestilence you have to really get deep into these things to try to understand or get some clarification or discernment on your own but of course you're gonna have to talk to the master about that okay praying for that discernment but i just thought i'll put that out there as well so you know how they say we're living in the end time ages and this that and the third and you know like i said it keeps coming and coming and coming it may not see it in my time frame but it, you know the end is definitely going to come recycle itself and it just is what it is but on a positive note i want to say thank you fam for coming by the house and, and breaking bread and and serving up uh delicious tea for us to just talk and just have banter with you know we're not saying we're right we're not saying we're wrong over him we're just expressing our opinions and i'm gonna say thank you for stopping by the house weighing in on subject matter and checking on your girl deb yes i'm doing better i'm doing better than i once was when i hit that ground hard as hell okay and I needed prayers from everybody. And I continue needed prayers. And I'm praying for myself and you all as well. But I want to give a little shout out. A little hellos. And just know I see y'all. I don't uh, do it normally all the time. Because I'll be trying to get y'all other things. But see this is a day where we playing catch up. So yes I already told y'all what we going to talk about. We ain't at, at that point right now. So if you have already cut off. Okay take me in small doses. Come back and then forward through my video. If you really want to see what I'm talking about of subject matter but i just had to come and touch bases with y'all because i'm that kind of person i'm that kind of broad i'm that kind of chick okay i'm that kind of woman okay all right but anyway i want to say hey to angelina bell annie gannett quattro mom the quattro mom she's a youtuber all right uh i forget where she's in uh, canada i don't think she's here in the states but i may be wrong but her youtube channel is quattro mom q u a t t r o mom she has a few kids up there she shows them periodically uh she's a gamer but she likes playing those type games and putting them on her youtube channel like candy crush Honey, she be over there playing them games. I, I I can't get into that too much, but I go over there when I can and um you know see what she doing. I like to see the kids myself because they be so cute. Be going around doing their little thing, and she be having them on you know TV or whatnot. Or I call it TV, but it's her YouTube channel. And um she also has meditation type videos on her uh channel where you can sit there and just relax digress you know filter down and get your little uh happy thoughts mode going and then she has some beautiful music that accompany accompany that as well and then she has like videos where she has soft sultry type music that you know get you in the groove of just being relaxed so y'all go on over there and tell the damn chanel's for this world told you to come over there and be a part of her family as well okay but yes that is quattro mom 
get into it. Okay, then we got uh, Vernez Junk Closet. She also has a YouTube channel. Uh, she's one of our family members over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So y'all go on over there, check her out. If you want to know anything about mortgages or how to start uh, getting your credit together, she gives you tri tricks and tips on how to do that to try to qualify for a home loan. She's a motivator when it comes to other people uh, wanting to get their YouTube channel started. She helps you with that as well. She, Like I said, she is a motivator. So anytime you know she, you feel like you need a little uplift going over there, I'm pretty sure she would throw some tips your way. She's a little cheerleader here on the YouTube station, especially when it comes to other content creators. So check her out. Her uh, pronunciation, well not pronunciation, but her spelling of her uh, YouTube channel is V-E-R-N-E-S Junk, J-U-N-K, Closet, okay, C-L-O-S-E-T. All right, shout out, okay, we got another one, Carrie Jones, thank you for stopping by the home, the house, the crib, however you see it. Thank you, Stephanie Hester, Perlene Watson, Christine McLean. Uh, Ronald Barkins, where the hell you been, boy? Where, ha where have you been? You know you need to be up here saying hello to me every day. Pick up the phone and call me. Everybody ain't got to stop by the house, but y'all damn sure can get in them comments and say, Hey, how you doing, girl? And then click off. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it don't take that much. You ain't even got to watch the damn video. Just call on the phone, meaning to get, sign in, be on the video. Just say, Hey, I ain't watched your video yet, but I just want to say, Hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's going down on ATL streets? Damn, can y'all do that for me? God damn. Okay, that's all I just wanted to say. Sometimes I want to see y'all. I want to see what's happening with with y'all ain't gotta be all the time watching my videos because i tell you get it in small doses you know i talk a hell of a lot so sometimes you can't watch the first but first five seven minutes it's okay i'll come back later on when i got time because they don't talk too damn much okay but i like what she say okay i can get with it all right but that's all i ask y'all do just stop by and say hey Okay, some you know, like I said, sometimes I'm your favorite aunt, I'm your mama, I'm, I'm your favorite cousin, whatever. Hell, nigga like to hear from me. Did I say that? I meant to say, Edgar, I'm sorry. But anyway, moving on. Uh, Peggy Hunter, thank you for stopping Bear. Boo Bear, girl, where you at? Where you at, Boo Bear? You know you always challenge me on things and try to get some more clarification. But I love it. I like it. And I'm here for you. Boo Bear in the house, okay? Then we got Doreen Rose as we go currently. She responded, um, um, three hours ago on a video I did and she made her opinions known so y'all get down there and interact with her if you dare okay we got Sunny Diller she said thanks for the shout out there thumbs up girl you know I shout y'all every time I get a chance all my family I'm gonna shout out every time I see y'all and I got time to do it I'm gonna do it okay Marisol White girl tell it tell it tell it like it is tell it like it is Marcella always the watcher she always the watcher okay always the watcher but she be throwing out some good hilarious responses so get into it she knows how to do it Terry Howard she even said drop down came in watched the video uh over here she said this was nothing but a bunch of bullshit for a storyline I get it girl I get it girl you know they ain't doing them but beefing for dollars they don't want to go in their professional lives like run her multi-million dollar uh organization that's kenya moore and mark going to run his soco but he's up there trying to you know help her out get her more money get her back on the show but she done definitely did that so he's trying to get the hell out of there but she just won't let him go okay but that's just my spiel on it but thank you terry howard for coming by stopping by putting your opinions down now then we got sandra air hey sandra air girl I, she rose i think she wants her baby daddy to do well let's see if he asks for a spouse of support <laughs> girl you did a nice nasty type of post there but I'm, I'm here i'm here for you sandra l thank you for coming by stopping by yes yeah, sunray tv that's my girl that's my sister oh she's such a blessing okay y'all go watch her she has her channel as well she's a motivator she does vlogs she uh talks about entertainment news but she definitely has a key when it just being her own self her own personality warm warm type of individual okay she talks about her family she talks about different tub uh subjects that uh we uh, face on a daily basis she does makeup tutorials she does cooking tutorials you just gotta love her you know how they say with them tater chips lays tater chips you just can't have but one you got to keep going back that's what sunray is all about sunray tv check her out okay it's spelled s-u-n-r-a-y-e-t-v 
And tell her Dale Chanel for this world sent you on over there. Blessings to her and her channel. And blessings to you all. Okay. Uh, but she goes on also to put her little comment down. She says, exactly. Don't put that mess on your baby's social media. That's just tasteless. Girl, she know I'll be with her all day, every day. Because we old Kendra spirits. But I am her older sis. Okay. But she goes with the old school type of ruler. That damn Kenya sitting over there promoting. Um. Mark Daly's SoCo restaurant on her baby girls uh, that she made for baby Brooklyn. Brooklyn ain't got nothing to do with that, okay? She like, take care of me. That's what you bought me here for. So you take care of me until I can take care of myself, God dog. Can you taste this? Just like Sunray TV said, very tasteless. What? You scared he's not going to? Well, he probably ain't looking at your social media platforms anyway. And that's probably why you thought you wanted to go on her platform to show support. But he ain't staying your ass. Can you stop playing all them tricks, girl? But moving on where um uh we shouted out marisol white what is btwat it's not as she dagnamic okay i don't know what that is marisol you know I'm, I'm i'm challenged on these abbreviations is it by the way uh i don't know what the 18 means get into the comments and clarify with me baby clarify all right then we got casey sweet girl she said why are you acting like it ain't march 2020 and not september 2019 when the scene was filmed oh my gosh plus nobody plus nobody but a judge can make a custody decision for marriage people going through divorce they ain't even filed for the for divorce they still sleeping together if you peep the ig pic of him down there naked with the baby in bed uh november 18th you tripping they good okay casey sweet girl i'm gonna let you have it because like i said i like people to express themselves and if they that inclined when they put something on <coughs> the uh comment section just as long as it's not being spiteful towards me because we want you to stay on subject matter which you really did it's okay i get it got it good girl twirl on with your twirlers okay but hey thank you for coming by kc sweet girl then we got carla williams she says kenya moore doesn't give a damn about you or your feelings oh ah. well i'm sorry kenya mark doesn't give a damn about you or your feelings he doesn't love you nor does he like you you love mark so much but you're not working out why would you help him out with his business during the coronavirus epidemic you are advertising for him to win brownie points okay then she goes on and on and on but she expressing her opinion i'm like that damn carla williams i'm there with you girl tear her ass up tear her ass up in them comments okay then we got Beatrice Holland. Hey, Beatrice, let's see what you're saying. It was all for a paycheck. That's why she came back. Girl, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Speak the truth into existence, girl. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Okay, then we got Terry Fowler. No, I don't think so. She can do whatever she wants to do. Thank you. Okay, Terry. Okay, I get it. Got it good. Do you, girl? Do you? Uh, but thank you for stopping by, putting your two cents in. Okay, then we got Desiree Cruz. Uh, thank you for stopping by. She says that man knows that Kenya and he exactly like it with a heart and emojis. That's her daughter, dad, and her support. Oh my gosh, why can't people understand that? okay desiree cruz we all understand it, but we all just making our own opinions just like we allow you to do and we want you to continue doing that okay stay on subject matter don't worry about what everybody else is saying whether it's in agreement with what you're saying or it's not in agreement. we all have an opinion but thank you for stopping by okay rosalie parker give it up ken that man despises you he let the whole world know he can't stand you now i'm up there um like i said if it's if it's the whole thing of can you coming back for a storyline and she's faking all this shit and her and mark are good good but kenya them twirls gonna tear your ass up along with the other people that don't feel you have a marriage anyway if they find out all this shit was fake fraudulent fuckery and just just shitty behavior we're doing here fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shit they're gonna be on your ass girl because these people really are down for you and they're thinking you're going through all this troublesome times with this man if it's all was for kiki and dollars and cents girl Mm -mm -mm. Whew, when you fall off you're gonna fall and hit that hard ground hard as hell more so than what i did okay i'm just saying and we got jerry hendrickson she says oh please she has a big heart she's just looking for attention again kenya is up to no good watch out mark Kenya. there she goes again trying to make him look bad uh kenya is a liar i'm sure 
his taking care of his daughter. Kenya has no respect either. She always putting him down and making him look like a fool. Kenya is playing a game. I always love your videos. Thank you, Jerry Henderson. And I totally concur with what all you said. Okay, I totally concur. It's all for show with Kenya. And like I said, all these women on these reality shows, as well as men, they're there to beef. Beef, beef, beef. They don't want to get into their own personal lives and their own personal professionals, which is like the norm, everyday, humdrum type things. But we're talking about respectful, uh, respectable careers that these people have gotten themselves into. But they have been lured away from something respectful and respectable to something ratchet and degrading and that's just how the world is going now nobody has any morals no more and nobody have any scruples they just want that fast life that fast money and that lucrativeness that it gives you to hobnob with some you know actor and actresses that's been out there playing the field that they are known to be in movie roles acting you see what i'm saying but this reality stuff done took over and these people are thinking they're walking around like they gods and stuff and it's ridiculous but moving on that's just my sidebar we got patrick uh barbara patrick weighing in she said you sound like you hating on kenya always shading her what nini has done to ladies i'm like damn Barbara Patrick, I shade all these women, okay? I ain't too fond of none of them. Just what, what I'm saying here. Kenya and Nene always out there exploiting themselves. So I had to come with whoever doing whatever, whichever day. And Candy up there too. I get on all of them, Barbara. So you, you evidently, you need to watch more of my videos. Kenya just probably be the highest on the list because she's always out there doing some of them damn social media streets that gets on my goddamn nerves and I have to speak on it okay taking some candace words okay but yes i have to go on my platform and say what i don't like now some a lot of things i just let go by and a lot of times she's exploiting or she's saw her daughter out there and i don't like to put the daughter and stuff out there and I, I never said she was a bad mom excellent mom from what i see i'm just you know questioning some of her her um her demeanor her 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 uh attitude she gives out on the show that's all okay i'm giving what she's giving me when i'm looking at her on my television screen all right so don't get on me because you're gonna get on me get on kenya okay get on kenya barbara patch but thank you girl for stopping by thank you for stopping by and don't be a stranger come on back now We'll be here. We'll be here. Then we got Ty Savage. Uh he goes on she goes on to say, You really gonna act like uh something. Understand why King was upset after all the shit uh she is dealing with. King got feelings too, y'all. Y'all always wanna have sympathy for wait a minute, y'all always wanna have sympathy for them other hoes. What about her? You know damn well if it was Tanya who was going through a divorce and she didn't want to talk, you will understand her. Why can't you gotta apologize if as fuck he not sorry? Isn't that fate? And why do Nene apologize? Okay, time. I'm just speaking because you you know you're on the platform and uh, I just happen to shout you out and I want you to continue to stay on the platform. But like I said. <laughs> I don't give a crap what Kenya call herself is going through with this divorce and shit. Because Kenya wanted to be on a show that's exploiting her. Okay. So I have no sympathy for that. When she has to have a storyline. That storyline has to depict some of her truth that she's facing out here in public. Then that's her own damn fault. You know. We're not coming after them. They're putting this shit on TV. And of course you're going to always have opinions. Hell I am a divorcee. Or you know a divorce e. Uh, way back in 93, I got divorced, okay? It's a bad thing you go through. It's a lot of hurt, okay? Because I've been with this man or my daughter's uh, dad, my ex-husband, for at least, let me see, we knew each other. So we had like eight years we knew each other, something to that effect. And then we were married for almost seven or eight. So, you know, we knew each other, but we didn't know each other because you don't really know each other To it seems like you get that marriage license and all shit just you know i don't know it's like you'd be looking at other people okay but what i'm saying is it's what kenya is going through the loss of a marriage uh being a single mom 
uh, raising and co-parenting. That's no different from every other woman that's out there doing the damn thing. And they not crying about it. You know, this, that, and the third. And, and, and woo, boo hoo and boo, boo, boo. No, we got to step up, put our big girl panties on, and keep it moving. Because that baby is not stopping. That baby still need love, shelter, clothing, and everything else that go along with it. Okay, and we need to have a, a, a clearer mind. So, no, I don't give that much. I'll give you a little time spell to, you know, lick your wounds or whatever. But then you got to come to reality, snap out that shit and get it going again without your spouse or without your dad, your uh, baby's dad or whatever. And keep it moving, okay? That's all I'm saying, girl. We can have a pity party all day long. But where's that going to get us at the very end of the day? Nowhere. Okay, so all thing I got for Kenya, seek counseling, seek prayer. And get your ass on the grind, okay? And, and solidify yourself and being and co parenting and moving the fuck on. That's all I got for Kenya Moore, okay? Thank you. Um, let me see, Lady G or Gee, the hell with Ken, child, Kit Ross. <laughs> I tell you, girl, you make me laugh every time you put something down here. Um, and I think that is all we got. To say, because the rest of them basically are my number ones, like PM Patricia Kaysen, uh Sonny Diller is always there, Marisol is always there, OG Sydney Kent, she said clickbait on one of my good time videos. Damn, I said good time season one, episode one, two, old blues review, review, recap. That is the way you know it's a review. Somebody's giving you giving you their opinions on something they saw damn okay then we got bobby raven where's the episode you're just talking damn <sighs> sometimes i tell you reading is very fundamental people reading is very fundamental okay but that's all i got for my shout outs right now because i'm way behind you know i'm 36 minutes in and uh hey anna banana girl what you doing girl what you doing but i guess you know you gonna have to take this video in small doses because it ran a little bit longer than I had intended it to run. Uh, let me see. So we're going to get right on into Dr. Heavenly. Clines and Toya Bush. All about the tea brought it out for us. Okay. But y'all ain't got nothing to do anyway. Y'all should be listening with bated breath. Okay. I'm just saying. Because we out there with the coronavirus. Some of us are still out there working. Such as myself. And then some of us are just sitting at home. So y'all ain't got nothing to do anyway. So don't tell me to hush. Okay. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Take me in small doses. You watch 15 minutes. You come back. Watch the other 15 minutes until the entire video you have watched. Okay. I have spoken. Moving on. Okay, but going into all about the tea, uh, we have Abigail or Abigail uh, Lander Renew. She's a blogger over there for all about the tea. Little correspondent. She specializes in Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, the Potomac uh, franchise version as well, and um, she's breaking out this salacious story. Okay, she titles it "Heavenly Climb Shades Merit to Medicine." Uh, co-star Toya Bush Harris. You don't got no damn job. That's how she titled it, y'all. Okay. It says Married to Medicine may be on hiatus, but that's not stopping Dr. Heavenly Clines from going after her co-star Toya Bush Harris. Okay. During a recent YouTube live from inside her home closet in Atlanta, Heavenly Climbs covered many topics, including the COVID-19, self-isolation, relationships. Closing her dentistry practice and shading Toya Bush all in one day. Okay. Bush Harris, that is. Heavenly Clines explained that she has temporar temporarily closed her dentistry practice amid the outbreak and was now sitting at home with and didn't have shit to do. She used the opportunity to shade housewife and her married to medicine cold star, Toya Bush Harris. I'm sitting here. I ain't got shit to do right. Heavenly began. I got nothing to do. Who do I need to call? Toya, bitch, I need to know what to do when you ain't got shit to do. Nothing. She continued, what do you do, girl, when you ain't got no job? You just sit at home, living in the lap of luxury. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have nothing to do. I want to call Toya up 
let her sit on the couch and tell me what do you do when you ain't got no damn job i want to know help me out now you know dr heaven is just full of fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity she's getting her shit straight for the new season that's coming up and all the explosiveness she's basically basically gonna throw at her co-stars and toya bush harris is one of them now my thing is heaven just because she has the opportunity meaning toya to sit at home raise her two children uh and be a, a a wife to her husband and do the housework and 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 uh, what do you call it take care of the household needs and all that and going up to the uh, kids school and being you know a little parent teacher type thing uh with the other kids as well as her children let her be honey let her be just because she um uh, strive to be that type of a person and her husband is good with it ain't no sense you trying to make a storyline trying to dog her because if i was in that same situation i'd be doing the same shit okay i'm just saying uh then we go it has toya bush harris had an explosive moment we're having a climb during the season seven cast a trip to savannah georgia occurred after mariah brought up the drug accusation made by Qua webb and heavenly chimed in to say she believes the drug out at drug accusations the two got into a screaming match and almost came to blows toya opened up about the tension with heavily in an interview with ok magazine the mom of the two believe heavily has been in a bully mode for two years and it was time she was called out girl she deserves it this year i mean like come on really and truly she has been in bully mode for two years straight and honestly i couldn't take any more of it and I was just like, yeah, that's right. Get in her ass. Get in her ass, Toy. Every time you get a chance. Because like I said, Dr. Heavenly, she's cool. But she's trying to play her part as the villain, as the antagonist. Anything to get her more seen on the show. Because if you acting all cool and all this, that, and the third, you ain't going to do too much. It seems like everything Toy you got, and she's quietly but yet openly talking about what she got when it comes to her houses, her cars, her life. Dr. Heavenly has to throw it in her face that, honey, you living through your husband. You ain't got none of this shit by yourself. And I'm like, Dr. Heavenly, stop it now. You ain't going to have half that shit if Damien, your husband, didn't uh, contribute to it as well. So so stop it. it you, you need to, just like Toya and, and Eugene is over there happily living. Don't worry about what she got going on. Just because you want to be a dentistry, you out there hustling, bustling, that's your thing. Don't throw salt on Toya because she want to sit at home and do her thing. Okay. Y'all two different personalities. Y'all got two frame of minds of how y'all get y'all money, how y'all get down. Okay. Just because is in the lap of luxury and her husband probably have to work 45 89 000, uh two trillion type of jobs to keep her in the uh life she's accustomed to wanting to live then that's between her and eugene okay that's between her and eugene but like i said dr heavenly gonna continue playing her part because if even if this show were to cancel she could still go back to her professional life and do her dentistry and keep it moving even though she's doing both simultaneously and i have to applaud her for that but god dog it dr uh dr uh heavenly stop fooling with toya let her do her girl let her do her but that's all i had to say what's going on in these Atlanta streets i had to get y'all my personal tea that i was going through today i had to give y'all a review on a little show and then i had to talk to y'all about you know i had to shout out my fam say thank you for stopping by as usual i have forgot about y'all but i love y'all down to the core y'all get into this video i know it was long but it just is what it is sometimes right all right y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all next video